Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sonip Sky, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Hyperland after Minimal Arts install. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So, first, you need to be connected to internet. So, I'm going to use NMT UI to connect to my Wi Fi real quick. So to install Hyperland manually, you need to install these following packages. So type sudo pacman-ss Hyperland, which is the window manager itself, and then waybar for status bar, and then dunst for your notifications, and then hyperpaper for changing the wallpaper, and hyperidle for automatic clock and suspend xtg dash desktop dash portal dash hyperland for screen and sound sharing xtg dash user dash dirs dash gtk for automatic directories on your home folder rofi dash wayland for your app launcher and then noto dash fonts for browser and ttf dash fira dash sense for system font you can install any fonts you want after that ttf dash font dash awesome for fonts for status bar and after that alex appearance to change the theme lib advaita for icons Brightness CTL to change the screen brightness and Kitty is the default terminal in Hyperland so I'm going to install that and Alacrity for terminal after that SDDM for display manager and then Hyperlock to lock the screen now this installation is going to take a while depending on your internet connection Now you can install some basic apps like web browser, media player, etc. So type sudo pacman-s firefox for web browser, vlc for playing videos, mousepad for text editor, thunar for file manager, file-roller to enable zip extraction, and thunar-archive-plugin to integrate file roller into thunar. After that, Tumblr and FFmpeg thumbnailer to view thumbnails on Tunar. After that, GVFS-MTP to view external USB connections and calculator for your calculator and Ristreto for viewing images. Now we are going to enable AUR repositories in Arch Linux by using ye. So type git clone https colon two forward slash aur dot archlinux dot org slash ye dot git. And after it has cloned, type make pk pkg and space dash sri to install ye
Now we can use EA to install wlogout which helps us to shut down reboot your system etc. So type EA-S wlogout. Now we need to enable the stdm display manager so type sudo systemctl enable stdm Now we can start the stdm by typing dash dash now after enable Now if you log in you will directly boot into Hyperland. Now as you can see we are in Hyperland desktop. So by default there is nothing much. So we can open a kitty terminal by entering super plus Q. And to change the look and feel of Hyperland you can copy any other person's dot files on Unix porn or you can just use mine. So type git clone https github.com slash sandeepsky slash dot files to clone my dot files. Now type thunar to open the file manager. Now go into the dot files folder and then hyperland folder and you will see the config files for hyperland. Now copy those config files into the dot config folder in your home directory. And after that you will get a look and feel of something like this. Now this is a very simple rise of Hyperland. So if you don't like this you can look up for any other person's dot files and customize it to your liking. So in my Hyperland configuration by pressing super plus enter you will open Alacrity terminal and if you press super plus A you will open Rofi launcher and by default you have waybar at the top and clicking on apps also opens Rofi launcher so you can look up at my hyperland.conf and you can change the key binding to your liking And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to configure Hyperland. So stay tuned for that. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.